Hello there everyone and welcome to the Morning Flowers Stamp Set Layering Guide video. So first off I'm going to start with the smaller little single flower that we have in the set. So for the base layer of this one I am going to go with the Volcano Lake ink so I'm just going to stamp that into place onto some white cardstock. I'm then going to take the second layer for this little singular flower and I'm just going to line up the inside piece first and then the outer edges of this one. For this one I will be using the Lagoon ink to add in this second layer and a little bit more interest to that beautiful base layer that we have at the bottom. So once that one's in place I can then take the third piece and this is just going to add some extra details around that center point that we have at the flower center. So I'm just going to pop that into place, lift that up with my block and I'm then going to be using the emerald ink to add in that really dark shading details that we have in the center there. So I'm just going to pop that one into place and then I'm going to move on to the little cluster of flowers that we have or the large cluster even. So for the base layer of these I'm going to use the same as before so I'm going to be using the volcano lake ink to add the base layer for this flower cluster that we have. So once I've done that I'm then going to take the second layer for the flower cluster and for this one I'm just going to be lining up kind of the bases of all of these little elements that we have here. So for this layer here I will be using the Lagoon ink same as before. So I'm just going to ink that up and then pop that back into place lining up like the bottoms of these images just to add in the darker shadow there. Once that's done I can move on to the third layer of these and again this is going to add in some really dark areas of interest onto our little um, floral cluster that we have here. So for this one I am going to be using the emerald ink to add that really dark shading in. So I'm just going to ink that up and then pop that into place and then stamp that down onto the image. This little flower cluster here does have some greenery so we're going to pop the little bud pieces in here. So for the first layer I am going to be using the parrot ink so this is going to add a really bright green to our base layer of the little floral kind of connectors here. So I'm going to pop that into place. I'm then going to take the second one again lining up like kind of the base of the flowers for this one and it's just going to snuggle in in that little area there. For this layer I am going to be using the olive. I'm then going to take the third layer for this and for this one I am going to be using the moss so this is going to add in the darkest shading on these little flower bud pieces here. So once that's done I'm then going to move on to the flower centers. Now the flower center is the same for the singular flower as well as the brightest flower on the flower cluster. So for the base layer I did go with the chamomile ink for that one and then for the second layer it's just going to kind of cup around the image that we've just done the little flower center and for that one I did use the snapdragon and I'm just going to do exactly the same colors for this one here with the chamomile and the snapdragon for the second layer of the flower center. So once that's done I'm then going to move on to the foliage leaf piece that we have. So for the base layer of that one I have gone in with the parrot for a really bold and bright green. I'm then going to take the second layer of this and this is just going to fit within the one that we've just previously stamped. It's going to kind of add a really dark um, tips to the leaves on this one. So it's going to go around mostly the edges of the leaves on that one. So for the third layer I'm just popping that into place and this is just going to add some really dark points to the leaf centers for this one. And for this layer here I will be using the moss ink just to add in those darker details. And here is the layering complete. We really do hope this video helps. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again really really soon. Bye bye.